true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... Is becoming divine something you really want? <laughs> when Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Corypheus wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. A message from Divine Justinia. That's a shock. You're right reading it. Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. Do you know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. Is this you asking permission to leave for a bit? Well, yes. I can't imagine I'll be away from my post for very long. And I was hoping you would agree to come with me. Will you at least consider it? One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. Just as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. So, where's this hidden treasure? Straight to business. It's why I like you, Inquisitor. Liliana? Is that you? Sister Natalie? What are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No. I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lady, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. You owe me 20 readings of the Canticle of Trials for that insult. She doesn't mean it. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Leliana, stop! What are you doing? I'm protecting us. They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. 
The prickleweed burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thedas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? You must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. We don't have to be at odds, Natalie. You could come with us, join the Inquisition. I was called to serve the Grand Cleric. I will not betray her. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. We don't have to kill her. No. I must protect the Inquisition. She is an enemy. I see what you've become. The Bridges stand before the darkness, and the Maker shall guide them. <laughs> Check again. Perhaps the box itself is a puzzle. She seems the puzzling sort. No, it's just... it's just an empty box. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but... My conscience that bore the consequences. She apologized in the Fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Then you have to let it go. Let her go. You don't owe her anything anymore. This? Now? After everything you've said and done? After Haven, we agreed that war requires sacrifices. Whatever it takes, you said. And my poor dear Natalie. I called her sister once, but I couldn't risk leaving her alive. Don't tell me to let it all go after all I've sacrificed to get here. Justinia tried to save me, but all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold. Grand Cleric Victoire wishes to make an enemy of the Inquisition. I'll give her what she wants. Doesn't Victoire have a young cousin, Lord Firmin? She dotes on him. Yes, mistress. I believe that is so. Good. Have him collected. He shall be an honored guest, and make sure the Grand Cleric hears about it. At your command. Is everything under control? Perfect. The Grand Cleric and others like her will fall in line soon enough. You see, when I'm ruthless, it gets us where we need to be. It's something to be proud of. Why fix it? How funny that her regret is what finally puts my own to rest. I chose to become her left hand, knowing what it meant. It was my weakness that stopped me from fully committing to my task. You have a good heart. It's not a weakness. You are too kind, Inquisitor. 
Call it what it is. The Inquisition needs me just as the Divine did, to do what no one else dares. Death and deception are my trade. It is what I am. It is what I always will be.